Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to make uh, a mug uh, that will be eventually looks like uh, Jack Skellington from the movie uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So I have here a bit less than half a kilo of uh, grey clay, so let's start. As Nir mentioned, today we will make a carved and painted mug inspired by a character from the movie Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington. The first step, just after centering the clay, will be throwing it up. Now Nir is starting to give this mug a sphere shape. To make it smooth he is using a kidney and a chamois. Time for trimming the bottom part. He is cutting the mug off the wheel and will leave it for a few days to dry a bit. After a few days, when the clay is still not super dry, but also not too wet, Nir is trimming the bottom. Signature and a stamp. On the same day, Nir is also attaching a handle. He already prepared one, so now he is scoring the surface of the mug. After that, he covers this spot with some watery clay and then he's attaching the handle carefully. The form of a mug is ready, so it's time to decorate it. It's still not completely dry, so I can carve it. First, I've drawn the lines using the needle and now I'm carving the school's shape. After I finish carving, I'm smoothing it up I found out that the mini makeup sponge is perfect for it, so I wet it and carefully go over surface that was carved. I left the mug for a few days again to let it dry completely. Now, using the black and white underglazes, I will paint it, which is my favorite part of all. Usually, I put two to three coats of underglaze to be sure that it will not look patchy.
OK, we have it ready for the first firing. After the first firing, it's time to glaze our mug. Nir is covering the bottom with wax, so it won't catch the glaze. We will use a transparent glaze, it's important to stir it well before dipping a mug in it. Ok, we have it glazed. Let's put it in a kiln for the second firing. The mug is ready. What do you think about it? Personally, it's one of my favorites. First, because I love Jack Skellington and second, because it combines carving and painting all together, which makes it special. If you also love Jack Skellington, I will leave you a link to my video tutorial on how to create cheap and easy Jack Halloween makeup and costume. If you are into pottery and arts, in the description box you will find links to our previous videos, such as making a carved mug and vase and watercolor speed paintings. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I upload every Friday and Sunday. Next Sunday I will publish a video on how to make one piece coffee jar. So yes, if you don't wanna miss it, click this red subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumb up and don't forget to visit me on my social media, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I hope to see you next time, bye bye!